In this video, I'll demonstrate how you can generate and retarget scan patterns in a hierarchical DFT design. Very quickly, an overview of hierarchical DFT. What we mean is that we have an SOC design, such as this right here, this open source Spark controller design, um, that consists of uh, multiple hardened uh, macros or cores instantiated inside the SOC. And the whole point of hierarchical DFT is that each of these cores is isolated with wrapper chains around the boundary of those cores. And this allows us to perform all the DFT work at the core level, including generating the scan patterns. Then the whole point is that you can reuse or retarget those scan patterns up to the chip level. And in the case that uh, we're going to show here in this example, we're going to focus on one particular core type, the DRAM controller, of which there are two core instances here. So what we'll show is how to generate patterns at the core level and then take it to the chip level and retarget that pattern set up to the SOC. So what we've done here is we've just very quickly run the script here to generate patterns uh, for the DRAM controller core or the DRAM core. And this particular command here, the set cart mode, this is the specific command that is telling the tool that we're going to be generating a set of patterns related to scan pattern retargeting. So we're going to execute that as well as just run the rest of the typical do files for this test compress block and run it right through system mode analysis. Now once we get to through the DRC, uh, the next step is we want to write a core description file. So this .tcd file is actually really important to the pattern retargeting flow. What we're doing here is we're storing the critical information for this core and specifically this HBG run. Then the rest of this, these steps here are essentially just normal A to B G steps in terms of defining the procedure file and getting into the pattern generation. So we'll come back in just a minute when the patterns are finished generating. All right, now we've completed the generation of our core level scan patterns and the next step is to write out the patterns and in this case, what we're doing is we're writing the patterns in a very specific format, the dash pat db. Okay, now we're looking at the SOC level. And just a quick reminder on the test case design that we're working on. Again, we generated patterns for uh, a single instance of the DRAM controller. Now we get to the SOC level, and in the particular, this particular mode of testing for the SOC, uh, we're going to assume we only want to target the two instances of the DRAM controller. So we're going to actually take the pattern set for uh, a single DRAM instance and we're going to retarget it to, uh, to both instances. And in this case we're actually using broadcasts uh, on the inputs, the test, compre test compressed channel inputs, uh, and then bringing the outputs directly out. Uh, even though I'm just demonstrating the retargeting for two identical instances, uh, we could just as easily be retargeting many different non-identical cores and you do it all at the same time. Alright, so what we've done is I've just launched at the chip level. This is just the initial setup where you declare your constraints to put you in the mode for targeting your DRAM uh, core instances. And again, I'm just going to highlight the specific commands associated with the scan pattern retargeting. So first of all, we're going to read the core description for our DRAM controller. So again, this is that TCD file that we wrote out at the core level. This contains all the information regarding the state of the core design at the time you generated patterns. Your clocks, your constraints, test compressed channel inputs and outputs. All the information that we're going to use when we get go through our DRCs here at the SOC level. So now that we've read in a uh, TCD file, we want to associate that TCD file with the actual core instances that we want to retarget for. So I'm going to add core instance for the DRAM core. And in this case, we're using dash modules. So for however many instances of the DRAM core that we see, we're going to target those from this point forward now, we're going to go through our DRCs. While the DRCs are running, I want to highlight a couple things on what we're doing with the uh, SOC design. As we pointed out, the DRAM instances are what we're targeting. 
So right now, during the DRCs, what the tool is doing is it's actually tracing the path. It's extracting the scan connectivity for these cores by tracing from the core boundary up to the input side and also through the output side up to the SOC boundary. And what we'll do here is the tool will identify if there are any inversions uh, in that path or if there are any pipeline stages. So again, when we do the retargeting, we can just take care of those additional shift stages or shift cycles that are required. So in other words, we don't need to tell the tool in advance how many pipeline stages there are or if there are any inversions. The tool will figure that out automatically at the time of retargeting. So we can always use the same single uh, core level pattern set to do the retargeting. All right, now that the DRCs have passed, uh, what we're going to do then is read in the patterns. So this is the pattern set that we generated at the core level. And again, we, we specified the PATDB format. The next steps here, we want to set the external capture procedure, and that's essentially describing what the capture procedure looks like relative to our chip level pins. And then we're going to write the patterns. And by using the right patterns in this context for retargeting, this is actually writing out the retargeted patterns. So the retargeting has already occurred. It runs that quickly, that easily.